Hello everyone, in this video I will show you some new functions of KCS v3 new firmware. Let's look at my computer and you can see uh, this is King Kony, uh form that should KCS v3 3.15.0. This, this improvement you can see have this some improvement but uh, this sound is very important. You can see this one GPIO support multi DS18 B20 temperature sensor. So uh, in future, you can use many sensors together, just only used by one GPIO. So this have showed uh, F16 for a demo. Later, I will show you how to connect to the sensor and how to set the KCS uh, V3 firmware at this web page. And let's look at, uh, you can see this have uh, make some update uh, for uh, N10 and N20 and N30. This is energy meter. And uh, this time will support LIM RF and IR signal. And auto create a switch button. Just uh, you can learn the signal from RF or from IR signal. But this time you can create a button so that you can send this learned signal. Uh, send out uh, in Home Assistant or in KCS web page that will be auto create a switch. So in Home Assistant, the IF and IF, IR signal will as a binary sensor also will create a switch button to send this signal as a switch. And this point three, you can see the DS18 B20 support multi sensors config by SYN GPL. You can see just by this way, you can see and. The FTD command, the Zen command, we have update from 6 to 12 actions. So you can uh, add many actions, max support 12 actions on FTD command. And also this have, have uh, fixed some bugs uh, in before version. Okay, let's look at how to use these different uh, sensors by one GPIO. And look at my F16 controller. And you can see this is my F16. And you can see. Uh, and I have a user demo. You can see these are three peaks of DS18 B20 temperature. Actually, you can connect many sensors because the KCS sensor web page support marks 32. You can connect 32 DS18 B20 temperature sensor together. And also, I because this is remove socket, you can see I have connect this sensor uh, power together with 3.3 volt and this black that is ground uh, ground also is together and this time you can see the yellow data line also connect all together with one hole you can see if I power off and connect with it connect with this socket and let's look at uh, this GPIO. That uh, this ground, uh, this is ground, and this is the power 3.3, 3. and one, two, three, four, and one, two, three, four, twenty-one. So this I have connected with the GPIO 21. GPIO 21 at here. Okay, let's power on. You can see I power on, and let's back to my computer. And you can see in our monitor web page, you can see the sensor is nothing because I have not added the sensor, not configured. And let's look at, uh, you can see the King Kony Cloud Store have connected and the MQTT have connected and the uh, Home Assistant is, is connected because we have enabled the MQTT auto discovery for Home Assistant. And you can see in my Home Assistant, this have a F16 in Home Assistant device, you can see. I can turn on relay, it's no problem. That have already connected with the home assistant. And this ADC and this digital input, and this I have learned the IF signal before. You can see no sensor, right? It's no DS18 B20 temperature sensor. Okay, now I will show you how to add this three sensor to F16, and that will show the in KCS monitor web page and also update to home assistant. And uh, you can see the sensor web page, uh, you can rename it, for example, T1, T2, and uh, T3. Uh, you can rename it by yourself, uh, such as LU1, uh, uh, LU2, LU3. Uh, and this will choose DS18B20 temperature sensor. And the GPL, 
I have connected 21, so I choose 21. But you will see the address, no scan result, because after we uh, set it, we need to save and reboot. And also, you can see these three types, all the DS18B20 and 21 and 21. And we will save it. You can see, we save it and we'll be restart with for a moment that will be restart okay now you can see the address option will have scanned this three dsab 18b20 temperature sensor you can see one two three and uh, but now maybe you will ask why i don't know which sensor is this address which sensor is that address so you can just set anyone you just set different you can see uh, this this is first row and this is second and this is third because this name can be changed <laughs> because i don't know which sensor is the first one and which sensor is the last one so i just uh, hold up i will hold this sensor to test the value uh, when the value is changed i know this sensor is my sensor and i will rename and update the name at here by yourself okay so you can see this have discovered the i square c bus uh, we have set now you can press save and restart if you want to show the lcd discrete you just uh, you can you can enable this one uh, just up to you it's up to you okay after reboot we can change to monitor web page and now you will see these three sensors you can see it here the three sensors and maybe you don't know which sensor, uh, which sensor is the first one, T1 and T2, T3. So you can you can you can hold down. You can see uh, this have a three sensor, right, middle, and right. So I hold down this, use my hand, hold down this. You can see if the sensor is changed, the date is changed. You can see the T1, the T1, the temperature is up so i think uh, this is the t1 uh, this is t1 so you use this way you can test the second and the third and rename by yourself you can see uh, about 30 centigrade uh, so this is t1 okay so you can see in kcs web page that have showed these three sensors okay because we have enabled the home assistant auto discovery so we can change to home assistant dashboard and you can see how uh, we do nothing, not needed to configure anything. So this T1, T2, and T3 have updated the state to Home Assistant. And you can see, and now you can control it. And also the sensor is updated to Home Assistant. Because you already have configured the KCS web page, and it will auto-discovery auto -discovery by Home Assistant using MQTT. So this is very easy. And now you can use many sensors in F16 or any other King Kong smart controller. Just use KCS V3 firmware, use ESP32 S3. Okay, if you have any questions, you can leave a message at us. Thanks for watching.